I'm Rebecca Reid, and welcome to this series about pig farming in New Zealand. Today we'll take a look at farrowing on an indoor pig farm. More than half of New Zealand's pigs are indoors, and as you'll soon hear, there's good reason for farming in this way. We purchased this property in 2003. It's a farrow to finish farm where we run um, a high health status piggery operation and around that farm there's 272 hectares. It's in North Otago, so it's a reasonably temperate climate. It's certainly a good area to be farming livestock and animals from a climatic and, and a health status point of view. We've converted dairy farms, we've been involved in the sheep and cattle industry, beef industry, but we choose pigs because they, they require us so much more than any other animal. So why have you chosen to farm your pigs this way? It, it provides us with an area where we can enclose and control people coming in, for one, which may compromise the health of our animals. There you go, there you go, come on. We've got an operation here where all our animals spend most of their life inside. It allows us to provide warmth, it allows us to provide shelter. We think it meets the needs of the particular animal that we run. Pigs are quite unique where they've got a similar digestive system as we have, so they don't gain any food value out of grass and dirt. And so, you know, we need to bring every food to them. So, from our point of view, there's three things to balance. We balance welfare, we balance the environmental aspects, but we also need to produce a product that the consumer can afford to buy and recognises as relevant quality. So anyone going in any one direction requires either a premium or something else will be compromised, and we feel we've got that balance well. Barrowing on this farm is busy. More than 100 piglets are born here each week. That takes a lot of planning. Uh, this is what we call our dry sour facilities. All good so far? Yeah, no, look good. All, all the sows in here have been mated over at different phases, so they, we batch every two weeks. So we wean on a two weekly basis. All these girls are socially grouped. So we bring in fresh semen and we artificially inseminate the semen into the sows. It gives us the highest genetic material available to us. We will scan and be able to tell whether these sows are in pig after 23, 24 days after they've been mated. We've got six rooms where we've got eight pens in where we bring our sows into four to five days prior to giving birth. At this stage of their life in their pregnancy, they want to have their own space because they're concerned about other animals affecting their newborn piglets. It allows us to give them the exact food requirements. They've got water 24 hours a day. They've got shelter, warm. So how long is a sow here for? The sow's here for four weeks, so she has time to settle down. We've bred these animals in this environment for so long now, they understand that they've got heating and the piglets are protected, so the need to build a nest has largely been negated. Farrowing takes within between sort of three, six hours. I think I'll be in here um, as the piglets come out. I pop them in some drying out powder, get them all nice and dry. If they seem a little weak, I can give them a little pick-me-up. It's really important that they have colostrum to start with. Usually the sow's reasonably relaxed. Um, it's nice and warm in here. It's reasonably quiet. She's pretty much got everything she needs. We're trying to create an environment to look after this newborn baby. And as you can see here, they're nicely spread out. It, would, you know, it tells us that they've got a nice warm environment that meets their needs, otherwise they'd be all huddled up. These guys will are reliant on the mother to provide a lot of nutritional requirement to grow. Over the four weeks that they're in this pen with the mother, they will grow to eight to nine kilograms. Now this guy's five days old. And we like to be working with these guys here. This is a good fun area to be working in. These are the wieners. This is where the, the pigs go once they leave their mothers at four weeks of age. We're, we're very happy, my wife and I enjoy what we do. We choose to farm the indoor system and equally it provides the opportunity for the consumer to buy 
our produced meat. So that's farrowing to weaning on an indoor pig farm. In our video about grower systems, we take a closer look at how piglets are raised once they've been weaned from their mothers until they go to market. Until next time, I'm Rebecca Reed.